Hello everyone, welcome to R series. In this video, I will show you how to visualize two continuous variables in R. I will show you how to make scatter plot, regression line, text annotation, and marginal rug. Also, you will find the documentation of this video on my R blog with all the examples and codes. I will put the link below. So let's start. So why we want to visualize two continuous variables in a plot? The main reason is we want to find if there is a relationship between these two variables. If there is a positive relationship between the two variables, which means that if one increases, the other increases, you will find the plot going in this direction. If there is a negative relationship between the variables, which means one increases, the other decreases, you will find the plot going to that direction. And if there is no relationship between the two variables, you can't find any linear relationship. You can find more about this in my video 10 correlation analysis. So now let's go and see how we can visualize two continuous variables using the ggplot package. So to create a ggplot, we need to specify three things. We need to specify where the data will come from, and we need to specify the aesthetics, the variables, which variables we want to use for the plot, x and y, and the geometry, what type of plot we want to use. So in this video, I will show you how to do scatter plot, regression line, text annotation, and marginal rug. As an example, we will be using the cirrhosis data from Mayo Clinic. We will use the two continuous variables call for cholesterol and pro time for plot clotting time. And to add additional information to the plot, we will use six and stage, stage of the disease one to four. So first, if you didn't install ggplot package, you need to install it and load it into R. If you install it, just load it into R. Then we need to initialize the ggplot object. So here we are specifying where the data will come from. And here the aesthetics, we are specifying which variables we want to use. X is cholesterol, Y is pro time. So for each plot, we need to use different function. For example, for scatter plot, there is a geome point and geome jitter. The difference between them is that geome jitter avoid over plot. So to create a scatter plot, since we did already specify where the data will come from and the aesthetics, now we just need to add the geometry. So we will use the geome jitter to create a scatter plot. So let's go to R Studio and see how we do the other ones too. The first four command is to install and load the data into R. So let's run these commands. Now our table is ready. We will be using cholesterol and pro time as two continuous variables. So Second, we need to install and load ggplot2 package. So I already have it. I'm just going to load it into R. So now we are ready to create plots. First, we need to initiate ggplot object. So we will specify data. So we named our table here data. So we are specifying the data will come from our table. And the aesthetics is cholesterol and pro time. The two continuous variables. Cholesterol will be x and pro time will be y. So let's initiate the ggplot object. Now we will be using the geom jitter to create a scatter plot. So now we have the plot. So if we want to enhance the plot or add additional information, for example, here inside the geom jitter uh, function, I added the aesthetics. Also aesthetic, as I mentioned in the last video, it can be used to add different colors and shape into the plot. So inside the aesthetics, I use color equal six, which means that I want to change the color of the dots according to the six. And also I'm using this function to remove the gray background. And this labs function is to change the information about the X axis and Y axis. So X axis will be serum cholesterol and Y axis will be blood clotting time. So let's run this. Now we have a better looking plot with additional information six. So we can see Obviously, there is much more female participant than male. Another option is to add two additional information to the plot. So we can use shape to differentiate the sex, male and female, and color to differentiate the stage of the disease, 
1 to 4. So for this purpose, we are installing and loading this package. So I already installed, so I'm just going to load it. Also for this purpose, we need to convert the stages from numeric to factor if it's not factor. So now inside geom jitter function in the aesthetics, we will use shape equal six and color equal stage. And we want to specify which shape we will use and which color. So we can control this also. So to specify the shapes, we will use this function and add these two values. Changing these values will change the shapes. So you can control this, that's first. And second, we will use this function to control which color we will use. We installed and load this package for the color palette. So we are using their color palette called Rushmore 1. You can go to the R blog. I put more than uh, four different palettes, so you can use different ones if you feel like. Again, we will use this function to remove the gray background and change the description of X and Y axis. So let's run this command. Now we have the six positive for female and dot for male and the stages color one is light and dark for stage four. So to add a regression line to the scatter plot we created, we can use the geomth mode. So it won't add a straight regression line. It will adapt according to the graph. And we will use the model linear model and also will change the uh, line according to the six. So let's run this command and see here. If we don't specify the six, we will have a straight line. For example, let's remove this. And now let's run it. We will have a straight line. So we can go to video 10 correlation analysis to learn if there is a correlation or not. Another thing we can do is text annotation. So here we are, we want to use the text annotation for pro time. So let's run this command, but also we can change it to cholesterol and it will change the values to the cholesterol. So last thing is the marginal rug. So we have the same command here from the previous one. We are just adding the genome rug function to add this marginal rug and also we will color it according to six. So let's run this. I specify shape equals stage and the color of the rug will be different according to six. And again, if you want to save the plot you are seeing, we will just use this command and run it and it will save it to your work directory. So that's it for this video. Next video will be about how to visualize two variables, discrete x and continuous y. Thank you for watching.